Hi Arlene. Hello. Oh, this is a beautiful piece of art you're working on at the moment. Uh, I'd love to ask you some questions about your life as an artist. Now, and, and to begin with, just tell me, um, tell me a bit about your story as an artist. This is probably a good painting to have here while I tell it because this painting is going to be called The Thorniness of Life and it's going to have all the thorns behind that caused the beauty to arise. And I think that's been my story about art. I've always been drawn to art. Ever since I entered, even though I wasn't teaching it, I had a little studio wherever I was. And art, all through the years, has been an expression of my spirituality. And so, and probably would be able to figure that out in the paintings that Cecilia will be showing around the room. The art has been a contribution to the Institute in the sense that it kept me balanced and challenged and engaged. Tell me a bit about the inspiration behind your art. Yeah. You know, as I said, it's based on my spirituality, so it's whatever I'm experiencing at the moment, you know. And for this particular one, we're having an art show called Serendipity, and I thought something to fit that theme, that's where this came up, you know. A little more of the um, oh, the beauty in the world rather than the struggle. <laughs> so that's what's coming out of this. But I have paintings, um, you know, all along the way that have showed the evolving of my spiritual life. A while back, I was interviewed uh, about the art process, what it is for me. And um, as I said to the woman at the time, if I'm blocked, I pick up a pencil and the pencil leads me. And I think what that indicates is art for me is the process of getting out of the way of myself and just letting it come, you know, being attuned to the greater consciousness and let it flow through me. And um, as I said, one of those dark days, those dry days when I cannot come up with any ideas, I simply pick up a pencil. Then I can translate it into a painting. This painting comes from two different places. One, as I said, my painting comes from my spiritual life and what I've been exposed to at the time. And I have been very moved by the quantum theory and the theory of entanglement. And so as I was walking outside on the prairie path, I became so aware of everything I would see, how, how it was entangled. And so as a result, I did this painting. We have the butterfly, we have the ants, we have all different kinds. We even have rocks and, and wood, all the different things from nature. And uh, humans wouldn't fit, so I put them in with footsteps. But it's just, it was my hope to express what I was coming to learn about entanglement. Arlene, you're the founder of Anavine Arts. I love the idea, I love the name and the idea, the whole concept behind it. Would you like to talk a bit about, you know, your dream for Anavine Arts and how it came about? You know, my dream all my life was to be an artist and I was lucky enough to be able to study art and really get deeply into it. Then when I joined Religious Life, the development of my own spirituality was so integrated with my artwork that it led to how can we bring this to others? And so when I was the director of Loretto Center Art and Spirituality Center, I had enough people working with me that we really got it started. And um, the whole point of Anuim Art is certainly to help promote artists and musicians and writers but even beyond that, it's to help people to get into, into in touch with their own creativity, how they live it, whether or not they're artists or not, how they are creative and how they can become aware of that. So, so that's what it's all about. Then, um, as I said, it was at our IBVM place in Wheaton to begin with. And then I was invited to the retreat for artists in, um, at Mary Home, you know, outside of Toronto. And uh, 
when we were there, the artists got together of what could we do next? And so that opened up, we, we formed a steering committee and that opened up the whole international aspect of Onway Marts. Here in the States, when we were doing it, I had have a very dynamic board, but we were not international at this point. And so there, our sisters who are on the steering committee have helped promote it in whatever country they happen to be in. So, so it is going international now, and it's been very good. We've interviewed some remarkable artists and writers and uh, certainly have had a good number of shows uh, once COVID came in, the shows took place on the internet, but now we're going back to having an actual show plus showing it on the internet. So that's where we are at this point. Got lots of hope for the future. Could you talk a bit more about the your hopes, for what you would like to see happening with this? Well, we would like to, um, because we are, IBVMs are international, we have retreat houses around the world, we'd like to actually take the programs to some of these retreat houses, you know, because the um, in-person makes such a difference rather than just the, though the internet is very effective too, you know, and um, to develop, a, I guess also our hope is to develop a staff to help promote it, you know, because as an artist that, that really isn't my gift, you know. So more and more to help people understand that in this chaotic time, the need for beauty and the need to express what they're going through. That is very beautiful. Uh, the uh, whole Mary Ward family, how do you see the integration, shall we say, of the larger Mary Ward family? Because we're quite enormous, and especially as our two congregations, the Congregation of Jesus and the Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary Loretto, we're going to come together very soon. Mm -hmm. So you probably have a whole world opening up there. So how do you see that? Well, that's, a, you know, a whole new challenge. And we have, our, our steering committee has certainly been working to get in touch with the artists of the, of the CJs to promote it that way. But I think even before then, we have to keep promoting it for our own sisters. Um, well, they're all our own sisters, but our sisters of the IBVMs. You know, and so we need more contacts in each country that will help us do that. We have... Uh, six on the steering committee right now, but we have more provinces than that. So we, we really have to reach out differently, you know, and, and include them differently. So, and the one thing we did, you know, thanks to uh, one of our board mem our steering committee members, we have the um, translation button on our, you know, so that we really can deal with artists from around the world and musicians and writers. I'm just looking at your website here. Would you share a little bit about it for us? Because of our international connections and because one of our sisters is in Mauritius and speaks French, um, she was the one who made us aware of the need to have the translation button so that we can include people from around the world. It's as good as, as the... Um, Technic technical stuff allows it to be. You know, the translation isn't always perfect. But it's so wonderful to see the responses to um, what's happening when people give their responses on the website, to see it in different languages. And then anybody can just press that button and translate it to their language. So there you have a part. Yes, you join us. You have a part where you've got the events. You've got the art gallery. Would you just click on that a moment just to, to tell us what's there? Yeah, you've got this beautiful art, yes. And the number of shows we've had. Very nice. This is just a sample, so. Yes. All right. You can see here we have featured writers. Yes. And then the themes of what we ask them to write about, the mystery of the moment, uh, toward a flourishing future, etc. Yeah. That's really, that's very, very interesting, yes. That's how people will yeah. be in, in inspired now to come in and do, read some of the yeah. uh, contributions there. And uh, under the um, community conversation, this is where it allows other people to, um, to join in, you know, they... Uh, 
they can creative sparks is anything that's striking you share with us you know so seeing with fresh eyes you know and so people have responded to that with poetry and with um photography so there are all, all different ways of being involved that's beautiful so thank you very much for that uh, Arlene, let's hope we'll have lots of new visitors yeah. to the site and as well as that, people who are interested in sharing their creativity, basically it is, you know, and the process of their creativity. Yes. Yeah. And if you are interested in sharing, please look on the website to the part that allows you to do that. It's very simple. So we look forward to some submissions. Thank you. And thank you very much, You're Arlene. Welcome.